I'm joined now by Senator James Langford. He's the only senator on both the Intelligence Committee and the Homeland Security Committees. Senator, great to have you with us. Appreciate it. Uh, you glad to be with you again. To the issue uh, that uh, Congressman McCall is talking about, uh, and we've heard from a number of people, including the Republican nominee, saying her security clearances should be taken away. Uh, I know you've, you feel the same way. What is the likelihood and how, how likely is it it could happen? So uh, apparently if you have a different last name or a name Clinton rather than Robinson or Jones or Smith, then you have a different set of rules. And that's the big issue here. Typically, if someone's under investigation for a security violation, uh, uh, putting classified information at risk, you would lose your security clearance during that investigation. That hasn't happened to Huma Abedin, that hasn't happened to Cheryl Mills, hasn't happened to Secretary Clinton. Uh, there's a different set of rules here. All I'm asking for is the same set of rules to mm -hmm. apply to Secretary Clinton and her staff as applies to, let's say, uh, James Cartwright or to other individuals that lost their clearance during the investigation time. That should be a minimum standard. Then we'll get a chance to mm -hmm. press on to be able to actually do a real investigation. The reference to a four-star General James Cartwright, the, the senator mentioning, uh, who is being held accountable uh, for uh, lying to uh, in an investigation, uh, presumably to protect national security. Let, let, let's let's turn, if we may, to to the issue of these investigations that are underway. Uh, it's being played out in public. We understand the dissension. We're watching the, the result of some of that within the FBI itself, within the Justice Department, with the FBI. Uh, this is an extraordinary moment. You sit on these two committees. Uh, what can be done here to say to, the, to a different party in power, you know, this is not going to go very well if you continue on this path of obstructing both justice and interfering in securing uh, uh, the, the national safety. Everyone who lived through it or knows their history well knows in Watergate, it wasn't the break-in that was the problem, it was the cover-up that was the problem. It was using official resources and people within the government to be able to cover up something that had already occurred. When we hear stories of the FBI, four different field offices in four different parts of the country all have evidence of, of issues and want to be able to open up an investigation on the Clinton Foundation and seeing this pay to play uh, that's happening. Another investigation that's unrelated to that getting information that also shows this trying to push that up to Washington, D.C., and suddenly the Department of Justice and other parts of the, of the FBI office in D.C. pushing it back and saying, no, we're going to drop this, we're going to drop this, that's a problem. Even when the State Department today drops out some emails and says, look, here's new emails, and none of these are classified, it's trying to be able to shift the message to say, hey, we've got them all out, none of these are classified. That's completely unrelated, and they know it. They're trying to confuse the American electorate, and it seems they're engaging in electioneering rather than yeah. just trying to get the investigation out do it right. You know, honestly, Senator, I'd be satisfied if they were engaging in electioneering, uh, but they look like they're waging a, a, a psychological warfare against the American people when they put out uh, a, a, an assistant to attorney general uh, whose best friend uh, at least uh, seems to be, uh, you know, John Podesta, the head of the Clinton campaign, right. and says he will be the face of the Justice Department uh, in this uh, email scandal investigation to the U.S. Congress and Senate. I, I mean, this is pretty uh, heavy lifting, I would guess, for, you, for all of you uh, watching this kind of arrogance. It does, actually. And it, the, the, part, uh, the, the difficult part is not just the election, it's the long-term effect on it. Uh, it's very clear that Hillary Clinton put her political future ahead of America's national security. But now we also have the FBI being drug in. Long term, that has real effects on the FBI being able to be non-biased, be non-partisan, yeah. and to be a reliable entity that the American people can say when the FBI makes a decision, does an investigation, it can be trusted. Yeah, I, I, would, uh, I would even add, Senator, that it, the short term uh, has already been uh, extraordinarily costly uh, to the, <clears throat> excuse me, the Bureau's uh, image as well as, uh, you know, the personal pain, those individual agents who've had the courage to stand up uh, against political power within both the, uh, the FBI and the Justice Department. Let me turn to this business of uh, five agencies, uh, presumably of, of uh, foreign, uh, uh, foreign intelligence operations hacking in to the email scandal. We heard uh, all sorts of things, about 17 intelligence uh, uh, groups uh, saying that they could swear that uh, all of this uh, WikiLeaks was being uh, sourced from 
uh, from Russia. Uh, that was knocked down by the New York Times. What can you tell us? And can you tell us how it is that agencies, even in the abstract, and uh, particular James Clapper, the NDI, got his uh, got their names associated with what turned out to be not true in the most recent right. reporting of the Times, at least? So this is a very loose uh, accusations and loose reporting by the Clinton administration. You remember uh, immediately after uh, the uh, all the decisions came out from Jim Comey, uh, they said, well, they've exonerated us. We're all clean. When that is not at all what James Comey said at all about Hillary Clinton. He said she was extremely careless and right. multiple things they wouldn't push through in prosecution. Same type of loose wording that Hillary Clinton is using right now to say this is clear. This is evidence of this. All that the WikiLeaks does is really shows how loose and how open these servers are. Uh, if all of this well, all information can be found by WikiLeaks. a higher Leaks, standard of the public's right to know in this country than has uh, the entire uh, left-wing national media. Well, and she said that uh, her server was protected because there was a security guard yeah. around her server no, early no, I, on. You I'm, can I'm really asking, that one. Senator, about how these, senator, how these agencies allowed themselves to be associated with the claim that Russia was the origin of that material. Well, I'll allow the agencies to be able to speak on that one directly. I don't get into how they do the classification process. I would tell you, whenever we find out any kind of information, they start going backwards trying to identify exactly where it came from. Oftentimes that's incredibly difficult, but sometimes there are distinct markers mm -hmm. that no, are no, left no, by I individuals understand. that hack into systems. But apparently there, there's some confusion about why there was suddenly such a unanimity of view on this one and so little uh, uh, knowledge about what has happened to everything from the uh, uh, the hack against the Office of Personnel Management, in which they took 33 million, as you know, 33 million right. uh, names and data files from former and uh, current federal employees. Senator, as always, great to have you with us. Come back soon. Senator James Thanks, Lafer. Lafer.